Hey everybody, welcome back to Fawin Channel as we continue our adventure in Undertale. Now, as you might recall from last game, we got to fight Papyrus, and boy was it a tough fight. And we also explored the town of Snowden. I think we got some money. Uh, we need to buy some more bicycles. Uh, we'll buy one more. Okay, exit. Bye now, come again sometime. I don't remember what voice I did with her. That was probably Turiel's. <laughs> Whew. Grill bees. Oh, I caught... I should have just went through the uh, thing. Oh, I wonder if anything's changed now up here. Nope. I wonder if supposed to go fishing there or something. A library bee. Hey, what's up, Sam? Uh, I almost called you Sans. <laughs> what's up, Papyrus? So, you came back to have a date with me? You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time with. Where are we going? Please tell me we're not going to that really badly made fort you made. No. <laughs> He's just taking me back to his place. This is usually how a date ends, not starts. My house! Okay. Mm, it's pretty chill in here, actually. That is a tall sink. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. <laughs> I love that little puppy. Oh. Uh, what? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! <laughs> oh, Sans is awesome. Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! Come back in here. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Oh, shit. Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Kind of regretting this date already. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a, a quiche, but, I f but filled with his sugary non egg substance. Absurd! What? That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it anytime! Okay. What is. Is this a sock? What is this? It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. <laughs> Dude. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> Ooh, nice TV. Looks like mine. Ooh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. Monster something television? What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You get 20 G's. Sweet. Oh, it's a book. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Sure. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. Ah, uh, this is turtles all the way down, isn't it? You decide to stop. Yeah, no, thanks. So... A classic image! It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bones. This is Sans room, I'm assuming. The door's locked. Which means this is Papyrus's, but we're gonna talk to Papyrus first. Welcome to, my, to Scenic My House. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy and take your time! 
Oh yeah, we did all that. Let's go to your room. See what's up. That's my room. If you're finished looking around, we could go in and uh, heh, 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 to the bone zone. Do whatever people do when they date. Mm, oh, look at them eyes. Look at them eyes. He's like, yeah, yeah, girl, go, go in there, man. Go, go, go in there. Go inside. Sure. Oh, cool. Got a box of bones. His computer. I'm guessing this is the bathroom. More books. Pirate flag. Some action figures. Oh, he sleeps in a race car. I sleep in a race car. Do you sleep in a race car? I sleep in a big bed with my wife. Oh. <laughs> That's like one of my favorite Simpsons jokes. There are no skeletons inside my closet. <laughs> Except me sometimes. Ooh, you're in the closet. Ooh. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Let's see what your internet browser looks like. The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follow account. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad puns. I almost read penis. Bad puns in a goofy font. Is it? Is it? Oh, uh, it's Sans. And he's using Sans script. <laughs> or Comic Sans. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. It was like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Even though it basically just happened. What kind of books you got here, brah? That... That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. With Tommy the Fluffy Bunny Girl? Huh? You should go say hi to her. Might want to put on a different getup, though. Then it always gets me. Isn't that Flagnito? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> uh, anyways. Ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from... A chubby, smiley man who loves to surprise people. Oh, Santa. Yeah, that's right. Santa! <laughs> I sleep in a car. You sleep in a car. I love that uh, he has a race car and his, uh, his uh, carpet here, his rug is on fire. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Why? Wind in my hair. Stun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Okay, I think that's everything, buddy. So, um, oh, this here comes. He wants to uh, take me to the bone zone. If you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Uh, what are we? What are we doing? What's What's going on here? Begin the date, sure, dude. Okay, dating start. Oh shit! This is a bad idea. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before. <laughs> look at that smarmy look of his. But don't worry. You can, can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. Alright, have a great time. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> this dude's adorable. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. It's Saturday. Oh, reel it in. Pop, population, egg, crime. Wowee, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. <clears throat> Human, I, the great papyrus. Oh, I just, that ra the um, radar thing in the upper right. It's like picking up the little cute dog that keeps messing with them. We'll go on a date with you. Sure. Really? Oh, this dude's adorable. Wowee! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Ellipses. Wait a second. Wear clothing? 
that bandana around your head. Oh, I am wearing a bandana. That's right. Before it was it was a ribbon. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. Yes, Senpai actually noticed you the whole time. Oh, I blew his skull. Blew his mind. You know, you planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, you're dating power. Date power. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. Tension. I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating. And I never will. Isn't this your first date? Eh, whatever. <laughs> I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Oh, God. Please tell me it's, it's not what I think it is. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! What do you think of my secret style? I love it. I love it, dude. No! A genuine compliment. Date power. It's over 9,000. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. <laughs> this date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. Are you wearing, like, basketballs for, for like, shoulder pads or something? But that would happen! Move and inspect with Z. Okay. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it! So it just said dude? Okay. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. My hat? My hat! My hat! <laughs> well then, you found my secret! <laughs> it's a present. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you! Do you know what this is? Spaghetti. It's spaghetti. Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Yes, it is. Right! But also oh, wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. I feel like I'm like a Pokemon battle. This shit's going crazy. There's no way this can go any further. Am I gonna eat a spaghetti? I'm gonna get sick and die, aren't I? Do it. You take a small bite. Om nom 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 nom. Your face reflexively scrunches up. Oh, it's terrible. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. Yeah, it's, it's shit, buddy. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Oh, them blush marks, man. Maybe even more than I do. Look at them eyes. Ah! It's over 9,000! Just, just, just like punched him in the mouth with my power. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. So we are going to go to the bone zone. It's time that I told you, I, Papyrus, I, um, boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. <laughs> sorry, bro. He's just not into you that way. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Wait a minute. Am I your beard? Is that what this is? Not for nothing, but I'm glad you're being upfront with me about it. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. 
I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. This dude is fucking crazy. <laughs> A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? Ellipses. No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship, so please. Don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. <laughs> Fucking what? But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Social media site. Okay. Well, that was something. Let's go see if we can get Sans's number. Whoop. Door's locked. Okay, I guess we're done here. Dude, that was intense. Okay, cool. I feel like there's supposed to be something up north, but I can't quite... There's nothing there, you know? Let's go check it out. Yep, still nothing. Okay. I feel like it's important, but maybe it's just to make me waste time. I don't know. So we're done here. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Bye-bye, Snowden. Bye-bye, Papyrus. Bye-bye, Sans. Oop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -boop. Oh, here we go. Coming out the other end. Cool. Oh. Ooh, what's that? Can I pick this up? No, it's supposed to look like rocks or gemstones or something. Oh. Whoa. Hey, it's Sans, and here's the B-girl. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her, too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her. Oh, it's that one person that they were saying dying or something like that? Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> Fish man. This is an echo flower, a piece of the last thing you'd ever heard over and over. This is an echo flower, it repeats the last thing I'd heard over and over. Alright, cool. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Yeah, it's safe. Okay. Sans, what's up, buddy? What? Hey, man, you you seen a guy with two jobs before. Or haven't you seen him before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Want to come? Yeah, sure, dude. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work, dude. Over here. I know a shortcut. Okay. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greedy Sans. Hi, Sansy. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Who's saying that? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least in a half an hour. <laughs> you must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Whoops! Watch where you sit down. Sometimes we're just put whoopee cushions on the seat. This dude's awesome. Anyway, dude, let's order. What do you want? Um, burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of Berg. He's scratching his skull. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think of my brother? He's alright. Cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. <laughs> He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well. At least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. <laughs> I'm learning way more than I need to about papyrus here. 
the burgers up. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Sure. Bone appetit. Get it? I said bone. You tip the ketchup. The cat falls over and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyways. Cool. Scratching his skull butt. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard, man. Like, how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. Oh, dude, what are you doing, man? But the next day, man, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Are we on a date? What's going on? Oh, yeah, man, I wanted to ask you something. Oh. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yeah, actually, that was that asshole earlier. So you know all about it? The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Oh, is it that evil flower? Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Can I eat my burger? Well, that was a long break. I can't believe it, man. I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, man, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just... Holy crap, 10,000 gold? No. Just kidding. Grillby, put it on my tab. By the way, man, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. <laughs> okay, Sans is officially like one of the coolest characters. Him and Turiel. Okay. I'm gonna go that. Whoop. Sorry, I just hit the table here. <laughs> We're gonna go uh, back to that save spot and save and then we should be done with Snowden and possibly the Skeleton Bros the Skele Bros if you will and we can pick it up next time let's get over there whoop this is a pretty cool game though I gotta say I really like the uh I don't know, it's just like a feel good type game granted I'm doing a pacifist run instead of a genocide one <laughs> sound of Russia blah 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 cool all right everybody thanks again for watching if you like what you've seen like comment and subscribe for more videos join me next time for some more undertale as we continue on and i'm pretty sure we're gonna meet that undying lady or whatever because little b girl down there on the lower left is all like oh she's gonna be here any minute so uh hopefully it's not another boss battle literally right after papyrus but join me next time guys take care and have a good one